OK, right, that's enough maths for now. Let's have a little break, shall we? And we'll go to our 60 second challenge. So let me just bring up my display. So the rules are as usual. The clock will start after the challenge has been read out. I want you to put your hand up to answer or put a comment in the chat. There will only be one attempt allowed per person. The first correct answer wins the prize, or in this case, the point. And you can work together if you are in groups of two or more or individually. And my word is final. OK, right, here we go. Are you ready? So today's 60 second challenge is a simple one for you. What is the sixth number in the following sequence? 0, 4, 18, 48, 100. What comes next? The clock starts now. Oh, we have an answer already. Is it 200, says Rob? Nope, it's not 200. OK, William, you have your hand up. Uh, is it 145? No, nope, I'm afraid that's not correct either. Mahid. Uh, is it 180? Yes, well done. That is the correct answer. It is 180. How did you do it? Yeah. Zero into one squared, you get zero. And then one into two squared, you get four. And then two into three squared, you get 18. Uh, then you get three into four squared, you get 48. And right, so yes, yes, okay, yeah. So essentially you've got this, this sequence here then that it's n cubed minus n squared. That's essentially what you're saying. And the answer is 180. Excellent, well done. So you get a point on the leaderboard and we return back to our maths. Okay then, so we were looking at the integral along the curve to measure